Welcome to the first example in chapter one, the chapter of stress. Um, the question reads, the three steel wires are used to support the load. If the wires have allowable tensile stress of 165 megapascals, determine the required diameter of each wire if the applied load is six kilonewtons. Okay. Uh, in terms of givens, we are actually given a lot compared to those lovely statics problems from before. Um, so we are given that the allowable tensile stress in the wires, so allow, sigma allowable, um, is equal to 165 megapascals. We're also given that um, this force, and we're going to call this force BD, because this, or we're going to call this wire, wire BD, right? We're going to call this wire right here, wire BC, and you guessed it, this one is wire AB. So I'm going to refer to that notation throughout this question. Um, so we're given that the force on wire BD, so force BD, or the tensile force, you have tensile forces, which is like this, if you want to imagine like a rope or something, and then you have compressive forces, which is like that. So that's what I mean by tensile or compressive forces. Okay, so the tensile force is, uh, in wire BD, is six kilonewtons. So we're gonna say that FBD is equal to six kilonewtons. Uh, what formula can I come up with from these two lovely guys? Well, I can get that sigma allowable, or I know that sigma allowable is equal uh, to the force divided, or the force causing the stress, divided by the cross-sectional area. What is the cross-sectional area of all three of these wires? Well, it depends. I assume since it says a wire, that, and it, since it's asking me for a diameter, that it's talking about a circular cross-section area, circular cross-sectional area. Um, and in terms of circular cross-sectional areas, I know that the area of a circle is equal to pi r squared, but it's asking me for diameters, so instead I'm gonna say pi over four uh, d squared, so diameter squared, and that's the one I'm going to use. That's a nice formula. And I'm gonna sub in when necessary to find the diameter. Um, but yeah, um, so the game plan in this lovely question is, I know sigma allowable for all three of the wires, right? The question's asking me, and if I'm skipping ahead, but if we go to unknowns, unknowns, I want to find uh, the diameter of uh, wire AB, the diameter of wire BC, and the diameter of wire BD, right? Okay, how am I going to do that? Well, we said we're going to use this formula. I have sigma allowable for all three wires, right? I have the force for one of the wires. Can I find the force for the other three wires? Probably using like some moments and all the stuff we did in statics. So you can find this force right here and this force right here, or it could, I don't know, it could be like this and this, I'm not sure. Um, but you can find those forces. You can find force BC and you can find force a AB, right? So, okay, I can find the forces via summation or whatever um, that I use. Do I know the area for all three wires? Well, technically I can use, I can sub in this formula and no, I don't know the area. I don't know the diameters because that's what I'm trying to find, right? I know sigma allowable, I can find the forces. I, I, what, what do I sub in for area? I sub in this formula and it has one of my unknowns. So in reality, I only have one, un, one unknown and that's how you do this problem. And you do it three times for three of the wires. And that's how you find these lovely guys right here. Okay, um, what did we say? We have sigma allowable, we wanna find the forces. How are we gonna find the forces? A free body diagram. So that was the game plan. This is the, um, the practicality. Nice stuff. Uh, okay, so um, to make stuff easier, I'm going to represent this diagram right here in like a, in like a like a x y graph thing, like that, and then I'm going to represent these forces as vectors basically. So I'm going to say this force right here is force uh, B C. This one right here <clears throat> is uh, I'll call it force B D for now, but I know it's six kilonewtons. Just please do not get confused. And then this one is a 45, so it's a bit higher. These angles are not to scale, but it is what it is. 30 degrees, this is 45. This is force AB. And what can I do with regard to this? Well, I know this downward force. Um, I think I can come up with two linear equations by doing sum of forces in the X and sum of forces in the Y. And let's try that out. Right, uh, this guy right here, 
and this, uh, I should have used a different color. This guy right here is FBC sine theta or sine 30. This is FBC cosine 30. This is FAB uh, cosine 45. This is FAB sine 45. If I take the sum of forces in the x direction, and I say this is positive, I will get that, this is gonna be a bit long, I will get that um, FBC cosine of 30, which is square root three over two. Um, yeah, okay, doesn't matter. Um, so, and then you have FAB cosine 45, and you sum of forces in the y direction as well, you have negative uh, six kilonewtons, but okay, it doesn't matter. Uh, drop the units to like just remove the clutter, um, but you should probably keep the units. Uh, you also have FAB sine 45 plus FBC sine of 30. You have two equations with two unknowns. Your unknowns are FAB and FBC. You can solve this via, like there's many methods to solve it at this point, uh, but what you will end up getting is that FBC is equal to uh, 4.392 kilonewtons. And you get that FAB is equal to 5.379 kilonewtons. Okay. Um, now we have these. Okay, so what, what do we do now? Well, we have the force of wire BC. We have the force of wire AB. We have the force of wire BD. What do we say back in Givens? Well, we said all we needed was those forces. We already have sigma. We can easily find the diameter for each wire, and that is what we're going to do. So we're going to say find diameter or, yeah, find diameters. Let me zoom out. If you rearrange this equation for, um, uh, or actually I won't even rearrange it, let's just go, let's start with wire AB. So if you just plug in the values, you have 165, let me rewrite it here, allowable is equal to force over pi over four d squared. And now let me zoom in. Okay, <clears throat> that's the four, that's, this is the equation we're going off. If you plug in your values, so this is 165 megapascals, and then our force for wire AB is 5.379 kilonewtons, divided by pi over four, D, what diameter is this? Well, this is the diameter of wire AB squared. I can easily solve for wire AB, or the diameter of wire um, AB, and I will end up getting, but before I do that, there's something very, very important to take note of, and that is the units. Should this be in kilonewtons? Well, no. Why? Because this is megapascals. If you want to see a representation of megapascals, megapascals is basically newtons per millimeter squared, right? This should therefore be in newtons, and then therefore this diameter we get will be in millimeters squared. Perfectly works out. Um, if you want to see dimensions for both sides or units for both sides, it works out to newtons over millimeters squared on this side. And this all should, also should be newtons per millimeters squared on this side. So we can easily fix that by just going times 10 to the negative 3 or 10, 10 to the 3 newtons. And then we can isolate for um, the diameter AB. And from that, we're going to get the diameter AB is equal to 6.443 millimeters. And that is one of our answers, All right? If you do this exact same process for wires um, BC and BD, you're going to get uh, the diameters of wires uh, BC and BD. So we're going to say, uh, I'll do it. So wires BC, 165 megapascals. 
is equal to uh, what was our force of wire BC? Well, we calculated up here it is 4.392 kilonewtons. We have to do the unit of conversion. So 4.392 times 10 to the 3 newtons over pi over 4 d um, b c squared and then lastly we can put um, wire b d over here we say 165 megapascals is equal to uh i think this was our really original six kilonewtons right if you scroll up yep this was our original six kilonewtons kilonewtons so six times ten to the three newtons pi over four d p d squared if you solve for this guy right here and this guy right here you're going to get that the, the diameter of wire bc is equal to 5.822 millimeters and the diameter of wire bd is equal to 6.804 millimeters and these are your three answers